What's going on everybody? A little COMC update and want to talk about a few different things with COMC that I've noticed. I guess you could call it my hiccups in the road. Um, overall, not so bad so far. Let me go back to sales history because they just started actually posting or, or actually giving me my cards I sent in. Now the issue is I got like one card one day, three the next, uh, you know, that they scan and put in there. Then it was like three batches in Saturday night of like, one was like 17, one was 12 or 13, one was like five. So they're slowly starting to filter in and everything out there. That That's probably just my one real like, ugh, can't you just process them all at one time frame and say, hey, you know, you had 300 and I think it was 302 or 304 cards are ready to go instead of going the whole way they're doing. But hey, at least they're getting done early. That's the positive on to it all. Always hunting the good stuff. <laughs> if you guys ever have to go through resiliency training, you'll know what that means. But, you know, not too bad overall. Had a few sales. Uh, nothing crazy. I mean, a lot of smaller end stuff that I transferred over from Upper Deck EPAC's been selling. So, a lot of little, little stuff there. All right, let me pull over. So, some cool things. I mean, this is kind of like going into like a mail week, too. But I've been buying on their ComC eBay auctions. So one thing I want to warn about, if you do buy on ComC or buy what an eBay auction from ComC, you can purchase or pay for it through ComC's website, right? And then it'll just transfer it over immediately. My idea was, okay, I'll just do that, have it hold there when I get about 15, 20 cards I like. I'll just have them send them to me, you know? Hey, I got a show coming up in three, four weeks. You know, I need more inventory pulled from ComC. Sounds like a brilliant idea, right? Well, the first hiccup in the road was I couldn't get my eBay account linked to ComC. You have to go through these steps. It kept on like having me re-log in and everything. So I sent messages out to three different places off bat. Um, well, three different emails. Their staff had an email. Then I did a Zendesk help desk thing. Then I emailed their eBay page I said to do, too. I get a message back from the staff piece in the Zendesk saying it'll be a couple days. You know, they're backlogged. Lotty, lotty, lotty. Got it. Understand. Heck, if you can't get in the PSA call log in the first 10 minutes are open, you're just screwed for the day. I kind of get it. Well, from there, I get an email back from eBay side of the house. Uh, Com C through them. They're like, oh, hey, we're going to email you a link. I look at a link. It doesn't even have my store name. It has some girl's name on it. What the heck is this? And it re-explained. And I mean, I tried to simplify it. Or or I guess you could say, um, i trying to remember what the, like, Teletubby style it. So that, you know, maybe I was just wording stuff that was completely hard to understand, grasp. Maybe it was mixed. I reread the next, second message. You know, sent a few people, and they're like, yeah, I get what you're saying. And they didn't have ComC accounts. What I get for response, check this link again. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try to do the phone call thing. Finally, they get their stuff up for December. I scheduled a phone call with them. Next day, it gets canceled. And the reason is this situation's been handled. I'm like, what? Lo and behold, somebody else, thankfully, gets my... uh situation squared away matt if you ever watched the videos thank you thank you you were awesome the other lady emails you back like i don't know maybe about six seven hours later i'm so glad i got to help you and got everything fixed you didn't do nothing nothing you kept screwing it up you could even understand you know the simplest english things i've asked you kept sending me the same stupid link over and over again i tell you it doesn't work so that there was a little frustrating i'll tell you that so once that's all worked through the kinks out, I was like, all right, let me, you know, keep eyes on certain stuff that, you know, doesn't come up often. And for some reason, you know, you got to look for your rare stuff all over the place, where it's ComC, Golden, PWCC, eBay, card shows. It could be anywhere. You know, I'm always scrolling through trying to look at stuff daily. All right. So let me move on to the next scenario. <laughs> Go to pay for my stuff on ComC that I want on eBay. They charge me sales tax. It's like, okay, not a big deal. I thought that because my eBay was sales tax exempt, 
it would be, you know, filter over through them. Oh, was I wrong? Go through the whole thing, had to send in all kind of documents. Still, I have no idea if it happened yet or not, because the last car I bought was a Crosby, and I had to pay sales tax on it over the weekend. So we're still waiting to see on that. I understand it takes a while to do it. From a buddy of mine that had a common C account had to do it. So just like I said, there's some hiccups into it. Just like anything out there. It's nothing that's like super frustrating, except for maybe the explaining to the one customer service rep lady like three times, and she kept sending me the same thing back again and again and again. But overall, other than that, I mean the only other headache I really have with Com C, it's not even really with Com C. It's actually trying to find inventory to put on the Com C to where you have to go out to the card shows, you're buying bulk and all that. You guys have seen some of the videos of me buying for Com C in bulk. That's been the hardest thing because, like, I can't go out there and just buy base rookies of LaMelo Ball and Justin Herbert and stuff because the pop counts are super high. You know, if it was like an NT out of 99, I totally get it or something like that, uh, you know, base rookie because the base would be out of 99. But it's just really hard. You got to sit there and hunt for relics and autos and everything else. So that's that's like my headache, but really isn't Com C's fault. It's me having to find the stuff out there for it. But overall, it's been pretty good experience so far. Uh, I have a lot of hockey lists. Like the top three cards here, I bought off of a uh, Com C already, and like the uh, Anna I here, I call her. I bought the PSA 9 at what, uh, just like maybe 2 or $3 on what Rod does. I was in shock by it. But I mean, like I said, a lot of hockey stuff that I transferred over and was opening Upper Deck E-Pack trying to chase stuff. You guys can start seeing, like, I have no idea, but, like, this Tyrese Halliburton legacy makes no sense. But I just go under what everybody else has if we're on Com C. If they're selling for $10 a piece, I need to start looking at it. If I start selling them at $10 a piece, I'm going to start hunting them everywhere I go. Let's just give you an example, a little bit of basketball, come on, a little bit of vintage and stuff like that. As always, if you guys are always curious and want to look at what's in there, it's, the link's always in the description on to it. But I figured, like I said, I'm going to try to update this either weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, depending on how I do it with it. But I also want to sit there and give people the pros and cons of doing this stuff. Um, a lot of my sales history is like right before Thanksgiving, so... A lot of people were like Black Friday shopping because they had all kind of like incentives out there to buy, 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 and then sellers to sell. Well, I'm going to go through eventually, and we're going to test the market probably beginning of the new year. We'll send a couple cards to auction that I'm not in very heavy. We'll see how they do onto it and just see the difference between sending in stuff to them or DC or Probstein. Are they going to get me the value that I would be expecting from one of the other two houses? That are really big on eBay in consignment. So kind of cool. We'll give it give that a shot. I had another thing I was gonna to touch on with Com C and I cannot remember what it was now. Huh. It just like completely left my mind. But I want like I said, this here's more to share some experience to everybody on there, document my stuff down the road, just being like, wow, I can't believe this is where I started at. Now look at my Com C store. It has like, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand listings in it. <laughs> Oh, but I know somebody's going to ask. I think it's it's in around 470 right now, but they've got like a thousand cards down there in mine now. With two more boxes here, and what I've been doing is sending out every Monday to like a box of anywhere from, depends how thick the cards are, uh, I'd say 60 to 150 cards or so out to them. That way stuff is regularly starts getting listed uh, pretty much weekly, I should say, onto it. But pretty cool so far. I mean, it's been fun. We'll see where it goes from here. I kind of like having the idea of not having the card here being there. Uh, not really getting charged. Uh, well, I will be starting to get charged a vault fee after 90 days. So, like, the top three cards. Here's my example. What goes through my head. Instead of spending, like, every month after the first 90 days, I got to owe a penny to hold it in storage. Kind of got it. I think once I start hitting, like, a three-month mark or a 60-day mark... Somewhere between 60 and 90, I'm going to start requesting the bigger cards to come back in to me. And maybe just not holding them for a show. But even at a penny a month, you're looking at 12 cents a year in a card. That's really, really not that expensive, to be honest. I, that was what I was going to cover. I knew there was something else on to it. But pretty pretty good so far on to it. Again, if you guys are buying or selling on comments, you always feel free to put stuff in the comments. I like to read them and stuff. 
stuff I've learned from some of the comments and some of the emails you guys have given me on. It's been great help too. I mean, it's a brand new venture that I wanted to start in 2024, but I knew I had to start in 2023 and start mailing the stuff in in order to start really, you know, having a 2024 Com C series, I guess you can call it on here. It, it'll be a lot better than the whatnot stuff. <laughs> I promise you. promise you on that. But other than that, guys, as always, thank you for watching the video. Until next time, I'm out.